What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of, of Cursed Gun Images. Videos where I take a look at all the heinous crap you guys have sent me all over the internet of cursed guns that basically should not be. Some of which actually aren't, all of which I wish weren't, but all in all, you guys just seem to enjoy watching me overdose on cringe. But the title is kind of a lie this time. It's not just cursed gun images. This time we actually have some videos as well. So it's cursed gun images and video. I know, I spoil you guys. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. This first one appears to be 1911 grips on an AR-15. This is an old bud who clearly wants to, you know, keep up with the times, move over to the, the AR platform. But you know what, baby steps. Gotta stick with something that's kind of familiar. I'm not sure if I like that like pearl swirl there at the bottom either. That's kind of an interesting two-tone. This is pretty mild though, so we'll, we'll go ahead and move on. Up next, hey girl, I heard you like ACOGs. So I put an ACOG on your ACOG so you can ACOG while you, while you ACOG. This reminds me of some of those like purposely cursed Tarkov builds where they just shove whatever, whatever shit fits on the loose picket dinny they have. Man, I'm just trying to get one ACOG for my scar. This guy's got fucking four, no fair. Smart though, you've got your 90 degree offset ACOG on either side, but then your main ACOG has an extra ACOG in front of it for extra magnification for those long shots on that uh, government issued AR-15. Up next, pretty much same idea. How many optics do you want on your Ruger 22 handgun? Hella, hella optics. These last two guys are like optics galore. You know, like Pussy Galore, the James Bond character. But these dudes are optics galore, because there's no way either of them are getting a crumb of pussy. Or maybe they're drowning in it, who knows? Seriously, there is such a thing as overmodded. At this point, the only thing you're missing is the bayonet. Speaking of bayonets, I have a knife. But not only do I have a knife, I'm gonna stop swinging this around, because that feels vaguely like threatening. Not only do I have a knife, I have a Kamikoto knife. Yeah, Kamikoto, of course, is a new sponsor of the channel and one that I really like just because it's actually like knives and not only just knives, but like scary sharp knives. Like I don't use good knives in my kitchen because I know I'm a complete fucking moron. I will lose digits with this. Comes in a nice little set here. I actually gave my parents a set for Christmas. Use a steel straight from Japan, if you weebs are into that. And best of all, you get $50 off any purchase that you make at Kamikoto with code Brandon50. So click the link down in the description or the pinned comment and use the code Brandon50 for $50 off. They're never sponsoring us again after that. But this is way now. So now to our first video. Now the Desert Eagle, as you might recall, is a massive handgun chambered in 50 AE and takes, you know, pistol magazines just like any other handgun does through the bottom. It does not feed like the M1 Garand. But you can imagine what it'd be like if it did. Enter our friend Schrodinger. Now, if that's not cursed enough for you, just remember now that it operates like the M1 Garand, you could also technically get Deagle Thumb. I'd like to think there's an alternate universe out there where Mike's YouTube name is actually Deagle Thumb. Now, this next one hurts my fee-fees. Now, the casual observer, this just looks like, okay, so you put some weird, like, white and dog shit colored camo on a modern rifle. Looks kinda ugly, but I'm not sure if it's cursed. But as I'm sure a lot of you guys have already figured out, that is not just your typical, you know, modern rifle. That is what appears to be a, a tack to fucked and spray painted Johnson rifle. The Johnson rifle was a weapon system that was prototyped to try to compete with the M1 Garand for military use during World War II. Pretty rare, very collectible, and definitely not deserving of this. Whoever did this to that poor gun, this next one's for you. Yeah, this one never gets old. Tag says, only one owner, but not for sale. Too dangerous. Although we all know the reason it's really not for sale. Most likely that it is owned by Hillary Clinton and she's about to loan it to Ghislaine Maxwell. Moving right the fuck on from that one before I get suicided. Speaking of which. First rule of gun safety is to have fun. This and more on your very own episode of the Darwin Awards. Yeah, that is around 50 BMG strapped down to a hammer fired pistol frame. Normally not a problem, but if you zoom in there, he appears to have some rudimentary primer striking system lined up right with the hammer. Would this set the round off? I don't really know, and I don't care to find out. 
What I can tell you is that if you try to set off a 50 BMG outside of the chamber, especially, you know, something in a device that's being held by your hand, uh, once you pull the trigger and it does go off, you're gonna be leaking uh, from one or more new orifices. Never a good thing when your accidents make you leak from new orifices. And if you're enjoying and or cringing at these cursed gun images so far, go ahead and subscribe. We do these cursed gun images videos at least once every time I fucking feel like it. But for real, if you're into shit like this, go ahead and subscribe. Now somebody posted this with the caption, don't show Brandon, insinuating that I'd be pissed off. This appears to be a belt feeding mechanism for the AK-74, actually specifically by that bulge trunnion there, AK nerd moment, uh, RPK-74. Oh, and it, lit it literally says RPK-74 down in the caption. I'm a fucking moron. I saw the Cyrillic over on the left and I just assumed it was all gonna be in Russian. But I've actually seen this before. Supposedly, it allows the RPK-74 to accept 100 round 545 belts, basically turning the magazine-fed RPK-74 into a belt-fed weapon. It uses the reciprocation of the charging handle itself to work the belt feed mechanism. What a lot of people don't understand about belt feds is that the belt doesn't just feed itself through. Like there has to be a, a very, you know, usually kind of a semi-complicated mechanism that uh, feeds and progresses the belt to the uh, to the right place. And then there's a separate mechanism to extract the round from the belt and then feed it in. Cause it, I mean, typical belt fed firearm, you're not just gonna fucking slam the bolt through a belt. That just doesn't make any fucking sense. All right, TLDR belt feds are fucking complicated. Okay, the more you know. Is this cursed? Man, I really don't think so. I think it's kind of cool. The only problem is apparently it didn't work. And if it did work, it didn't work very well. A lot of cool shit like this just dies in the prototype phase. But if I could get my hands on one, I fucking absolutely would. I'd dig it. Not cursed, dope as fuck, moving on. This one took me a good minute to figure out what the fuck it was. That's, all right, that's kind of funny. Full-sized Lego blaster. I think this gentleman 3D printed it. Now, while all you nerds are at home making guns out of Legos, this guy's making a giant fucking Lego into a gun. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really much cooler, is it? I don't know, points for effort. I thought it was funny. So now we all know that if you're going for longer range accuracy, you want a little bit of a longer barrel. Because of the rifling, you get more rotations on the bullet, theoretically, better stabilized. You get more powder burn, therefore a little bit better velocity, which means it does better at longer distances. And if all of that is true, then I think this might be the most accurate AR-15 of all time. It works. Honestly, I just give them bonus points for commitment to the bit, making that handguard as long as the fucking barrel. I'm surprised that bullet even came out of the barrel. So for those who don't know, there is like kind of a law of diminishing returns. Once a barrel length for, you know, d different calibers, it's different barrel lengths. But once it gets to a certain length, you've burnt up all the powder that you're gonna burn. You've created all the possible pressure you could. So the longer barrel is actually slowing down the bullet as it goes on. I can't imagine that length is very long for 5.56 to where it starts reducing the muzzle velocity. So this thing's probably pooping out the end of that barrel at like fucking airsoft speed. Still fucking hilarious though. I think we can actually sell the barrels. <laughs> Beats having your barrel too short and then putting a muzzle brake on it and completely destroying your handguard like this fella. I don't think it has to be either or. You could probably meet in the middle somewhere. I, I feel like that's reasonable. So now to our next bit. You guys remember Calico, right? They make those weird helical magazine nine mils and 22s. I did a video on the Calico M100 there, uh, they're 22 with the 100 round helical magazine. Weird guns, they look like space guns. They just, they made all sorts of weird shit, right? Well, one thing I didn't know before I saw this photo a while back was they made a 12 gauge shotgun with a helical magazine on top. That is fucking ridiculous. Honestly, this thing looks straight out of fucking aliens. So I looked this thing up and apparently that helical mag on top holds 25 rounds. Honestly, pretty impressive for a shotgun like that. For a pump action shotgun, that's, that's fucking all you need. Although I can't imagine you're carrying around too many extra drums on your kit in case you need to do a reload. Also, fuck sights, I guess. <laughs> Seriously, I don't think there are any sights on this fucking gun. Just kind of point and shoot, uh, wherever the spirit guides you, inshallah, I, I don't fucking know. As with anything Calico has ever done, fucking neat concept. Whack-ass execution. 
Now this next one's some old school Charlton Heston shit. If you want my AKs, you're gonna have to take them from my cold dead feet. I feel like there's been some modifications done, but they swear it's all bone stock. I'm, I'm not sorry. But for real, I hope this is like just some, you know, Halloween decorations and shit, and that's not like an actual witch doctor fucking battle rifle. Anyhow, moving on from that thought. Next up, we have the... Oh, God. We have the Weeb Glock. I don't know why people do this. Nobody's impressed. Seriously, who takes a perfectly good firearm and, and does this too? Well, oh, well, okay, so it's... I don't know. I don't actually think this is a firearm. Look at those magazines. So this is clearly supposed to be like, you know, a full-size Glock. I don't see any Glock markings on it, although they could be just filled in with anime titties. Real Glocks aren't fed by golden pills with a big fucking stamped sheet metal backing that prevents the slide from picking up another round. So I don't know if this is a fake prop gun, a weird ass airsoft gun. I really, I don't fucking know. Yeah, and on the other side here, uh, you can see the little cutaway in the magazine that is made out of metal. Uh, both are two things that you know, Glock mags don't don't really have. But who would do something like that? Oh. What's funny is this picture tells me everything I need to know. Not just the hoodie and the Glock, but also in the background, uh, the mask on top of his dresser, and um, what is either a Santa hat or what I choose to believe is a uh, cum sock. I'm done looking at this. Let's move on. Now, this one's funny because this is clearly like a homemade firearm, but it appears to be kind of just pinned to a homemade pair of brass knuckles. I think the most entertaining thing to me about this one is imagining somebody trying to actually use it. Like if you actually put it on, like the charging handle, I guess, part of the brass knuckle gun uh, actually like gets in the way of the palm of your hand. Plus if you actually are wearing it and you want to shoot it, I I'm not sure if your thumb could like if you come off it and act. Th I don't know how you're supposed to use this. If you're like punching the guy and you like are trying to shoot a dude who's directly to the left, you take it off and pull it back and <laughs> do that fucking zip gun shit. You can't really do that because there's no sights on it. And you know, if he's up close, I mean, I don't know why you're not just using the brass knuckles. I mean, that, that spike gun, it looks pretty serious. That looks like it'll fuck you up worse than like a 22 or whatever the fuck this is. All in all, I'd say either pretty cursed or definitely made in some prison. Before we close out this episode, I wanna go ahead and thank you guys for sticking around, especially you guys who are a member of the notification squad. The hashtag AKG notification squad, that is. You guys who click on those notifications and get here and comment in the first hour, you guys are the real MVPs. If you're not a member, don't worry, it's free. You just click that little notification bell and you will get a notification anytime we publish something, cringe or otherwise. That's about all we got for this episode of Cursed Gun Images. I appreciate you guys staying to the end of the video. And as always, I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fuel is my obsession to make the perfect weapon Like us put in rise to the top But the hell as you can stop your 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 stop your